This is A Who All Gonna Be There podcast, a place where you get to be an exclusive member of our very entertaining group chat. Hey, y'all. This is a A Who All Gonna Be There podcast, where you can be an exclusive member of our very entertaining group chats. And today in the building, we have good old E Money here. Oh, we certainly got two E-Money. What's up? What's hey, up? E-Money Square. One, E-Money two. <laughs> <laughs> we got E-Money and Eli with us today. How y'all doing? How the fellas doing? Doing swell. Doing swell. I'm making it. Shoot. Chill. Watch some NBA. We're in the middle of the NBA playoff season, so I'm Did doing you- pretty well. Did you watch the Warriors game from today? The Warriors really tried to choke. Steph, oh, Steph almost sold. Oh my god! That was, that did you was see the timeout he tried to call? They win. Yes, they beat by one. One. One point. But yeah. Oh, Steph, Steph made, made the bucket. No, no, but oh, he almost up by one. gave the game away. He did. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, very. Lucky. How he do that? He was missing up. Being, being stupid. Yeah, okay, I literally so popped the in the score? last quarter. One twenty-six, one twenty-five. I mean the not the score, but the oh two two oh yep tied up the record Serious? or whatever two, two. Okay. yeah okay the record <laughs> <laughs> that, hey that's sports aficionado e money right there you go hey, I'm gonna player. tell you <laughs> here we go with your weekend <laughs> um it was a eventful it was good and bad a little bit because it was good because I got to go to Wichita State University okay. with my little cousin she's going there in the, the fall cousin. shout out to the shockers a hey, mm-hmm. it was a nice camp that campus is beautiful I've been there uh, I I, I really, from there one time it didn't work out okay. see <laughs> <laughs> now, hey, that's the it? connection though hey right <laughs> Uh, but it was a really beautiful campus, and they did a really good job with their welcoming, like the incoming students. And I thought it was really well done. You saw uh, a lot of people. Um. Oh, okay. Next. <laughs> Didn't see a lot of. That's always my question: How many black people there? <laughs> and that's what she was for. She's like, "Is it gonna be?" I was like, is it, is, "They'll be there. You'll find some. They, they, we everywhere nestled with somewhere in our own spot." We did start to see a lot more. Um, okay. But, uh, I like a good mix. Yeah, but it was, like I said, it was just really nice time. Only downside was, like, I didn't sleep the night before. So, like, I woke up on Thursday. Oh, yeah, I woke up Thursday, like, 1 or 2 p.m., right? And I didn't go to sleep because we were leaving Friday morning at, like, 5. So, I stayed all the way up. You shouldn't did that. I know, but I had to. Otherwise, I would, wouldn't want to At least up. it won a flight you missed. Right, because I've almost done that before. <laughs> yeah, I have done that before. I have done it before. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, but hey, it all worked out. It did, day. listen. Um, but so, woke up. Well, I didn't wake up because I stayed up to 5 o'clock in the morning. That's when we left. And I didn't. we didn't get back from Kansas City till 8 p.m. I didn't get home to about 8 p.m. So, I hadn't slept. And mm. so, I ended up sleeping all the way out throughout the night up until four or five o'clock the next day, um, almost four, because then I went to an event with the tax service people. It's a black owned tax like agency that does like our taxes and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it was a 30 year anniversary. So I went to that little <laughs> event that they did, but I got food poisoning. <laughs> right yeah. after getting back? Right yeah. after getting back from that darn event, from the wings that they had. So I will not be going to those wing, that wing place where mm-hmm. they are. Um, because that was like the only thing I had eaten because I just it was woke good up. too though, weren't they? They were they were pretty good. Um, <laughs> yeah. but I'm mad because like I lost my appetite, my stomach was flipping, twisting, and turning. It was turning up, I was huh? not it. it was just bad. So it's a good good and bad weekend. Good and bad weekend. Okay. My weekend was pretty um easy. I didn't do much. Um we took my fiancés. Oh, um, the right. It's so bright. <laughs> We took her out to uh, dinner. It was her birthday um, this weekend, so we did that. And um, yeah, we where'd y'all go? Um, she wanted a red lobster, oh, which cool. I'm very glad because we normally do the little bougie dinners. So we spend three mm-hmm. hundred dollars, and she's like, "I gotta taste our red lobster." And I was like, "Yeah, red lobster is nice. Hey, red lobster, that's that's bougie. That, that, that's lobster. like that's let me say, low I don't level hate the red lobster, but it's kind of mid to me now." It is mid, but those biscuits are untouched with those the cheddar biscuits. biscuits. Oh Wait, my god! So they have, you know, they got those cheddar. What do they call them? Cheddar biscuits. Mm-hmm. Cheddar Some biscuits. biscuits. Yep. They have it on shrimp now, so they put the seasoning that they do on the biscuits on the shrimp. That was so good. 
Mm. Yes, yes. Okay. They got a whole new little menu. I said, like, come on, menu. <laughs> right, I normally was talking I, down on them. I was. It was good. And <laughs> I always get the shrimp trio. Every single time I go, I always get it. They got a Cajun shrimp trio now. They got some flavors and some seasonings. I said, oh, yeah, I got back there. Sounds like fine dining. Fine right. Dining. It was delicious. Okay. Um, but I had a little behind my mama and I got sick too. Cause I don't drink a lot of alcohol. Um, you know, I just had a baby, so I'm breastfeeding, so I don't drink a lot of alcohol. And I'm trying to like wean her off, so I pump like once a day now. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. But so I'm like, Ooh, <laughs> let me get a little behind mama. You know, I pump, they ain't got pump again tomorrow. So let me just, let me get this. And I think it messed my stomach all the way up. Now we both sick. sick. At the same time, listen, Uh-oh. I was up at five a.m. this morning puking. <laughs> yeah, it was delicious. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, perfect. yeah, it was terrible. Um, but uh, I guess we can uh slide on into this BB can content. Uh, this week or Ooh, something, wasn't it? We have had a week, Quite so a week. let me tell y'all what happened. So, where we left off, our good sis Koozie won the HOH. Congratulations, hey. to her. all the power, hey. all the power. Our, uh, only our um second uh same HOH, what do you call it? Second. Two time HOH, HOH winner because Santina won twice um, because she was the secret um, HOH. So Koozie is now. Shout out to the women. Women in this. The uh, women is hey, They though. quite are. Okay. It's um, been six so women HOHs. It has, right. So mm-hmm. uh, shout out to her. Um, but um, in the beginning of the week, basically what happened was Daniel C woke up early. Um, he goes into the library and smoke comes out and all this other dramatic stuff and of course they assume it's a power um hope and anika were in the kitchen and they kind of heard what was going on they're like oh, wait yeah, a minute books are flying that? off the shelf Maybe, yeah noise. it was it was crazy like the theatrics were here mm-hmm. um so they bust in or whatever and they of course big brother you think it's a power about to be unleashed so they come in and they try to figure out what this power is um, so they figure out they have to open up these books and put this tear the pieces out and put the puzzle together to figure out what it is. Mm-hmm. Hope, which is smart, baby, because who would have been hope would have been me. Okay, <laughs> hope Guard goes the door. in, blocks the door. So basically, his alliance is the only one that can get said power or whatever. So of course, time goes on. And apparently, they've been in her for a little minute. And um, Santina comes in and she's trying to, she's looking around the house like, where is everybody at? She comes in and she tries to bust in the door, hope not letting her in, trying to bust in, let me in, let me in, hope, let me in. Finally, he gives up, let Santina in, right? Then this, the cycle continues. Then um, yeah. Claudia tries to come in, Shania tries to come open the door, uh, Renee tries to come to the door, but they do they look. <laughs> <laughs> so the one trying hard enough so hope was like no Dude, all, th- all three of the girls tried and they, they all couldn't. tried very little but they did try then ty he ended up um getting in i think he got in before Santina, or I th- no he got in before Santina, i think or after mm-hmm. i can't remember hope tr- ty was like bro open the door i'm getting in here he pushed his way in right the <laughs> um so then by the time it come up claudia go upstairs and she go um snitch to koozie koozie was in the shower and she said hey they in that library and they not let me in man can you come and tell me a little bit man? and so <laughs> like, lord let me put my clothes on let me go down here and see what they doing so she go down there hope oh, it's me open the door it's just me open the door so she go in and she get let in and they like oh not they ain't let koozie in and i was like oh not they playing a the game Hmm. I hmm. am weak right now. <laughs> so, moral of the story is they get in there finally and they figure out what the power is. And basically, it's just the invitation to a party. So, they did all that. And they're like, ah, I guess we let the, the, the girly pops in. So, they finally let the girly pops in. Um, they throwing uh, fits. Well, you let Shoot, the in. girly pops didn't even want to go in. They were like, man, Bubba, Bruh. I don't care anymore. <laughs> and they better than me because I would have said, you ain't got to come in. I'm I'm done. I'm going upstairs getting ready. You know what I'm saying? So they they made a whole big deal about it. Um, Claudia was like, "How do you think Jonathan will feel after this?" It, it, it I don't, don't care what Jonathan, Jonathan feel like. Heard. Jonathan gone. Jonathan what are you gonna do? He, he left two weeks ago. <laughs> See, it's catch up, catch up. Cause you behind. <laughs> then Shania, Shania, I get I get where you're doing. I get it's a game. Okay, you should start right there. Cause it's a game, man. <laughs> She's I get it's a game, but that's not that's there's no way that you guys should be acting like that. That's Girl, it's a game. What do you think they're doing? 
if if y'all had someone like Hope to block the door, y'all would have done did this. Y'all would have did it too. Listen, okay, now if it was okay, now everybody use the example like how Taylor got played in a uh, last season and Big Brother. That's one person you're ali- uh, uh, alienating, okay? Right. Literally in that room was one alliance versus another alliance, okay? Right. Two different. It's things. a game. And if there is a power, they didn't know it wasn't a power at the time, but if there's a power and you could come in and find it, if I haven't found it in security yet, you're not getting in, sis. I would, better than me, I would push that pool up against the door. <laughs> so it was a whole big deal and they threw fits. But then it turns out the whole thing was basically an invitation <laughs> to the fatal feast. Everyone should have been in there. It didn't matter. Wait, you're kidding me. Yep. So you know, who let... solved the puzzle? It was uh, they finished it and they were like, "Wait, this was supposed to be a group." That's activity, all it was. Huh? It was just them saying, "Like, hey, it's a fatal this feast." Song's going down. So what if nobody did it? So how was they gonna get them to do it? I know, shoot. right? Well, you, I guess I would have needed it because if you're you, gonna, yeah, I know you. Just, you oh. I was just gonna say, if you're Daniel, you don't run out, be like, "Ah, these books are falling. I'm not doing this puzzle." Nah. Once yeah, it was dramatic. Down, you you got to go back and see that scene because I know you missed the episode. Yeah, the yeah. books was flying off the shelf. You had Ooh, smoke building up in the room. Yeah, it was it was a little dramatic. Like, you had to... Like, yeah, you would have been like, okay, I'm about to get in this thing and see what I'm it is. It look power-ish. Like, power-ish. 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 Um, so, it basically... Go ahead. I'm wondering now that y'all just told me that that was with the books and stuff flying off and all that junk. And that there was just an invitation. I'm wondering if when Santina was doing this back in week one, week two, and she just found it early. If it would have been the final, they would have introduced the fatal feast earlier in the game. Has she found it? Is what I want to know. No, because huh, maybe I, actually, did Daniel even find anything? I know, like a week ago or la- last set of episodes, they showed Daniel looking through the books and then just cut it after that. And now it's all he had to do was walk in the room. It's not like he found a specific book. I think. Unless I'm know. misremembering. I'm just saying, like, I just thought, because I'm like, because remember she found something and it was something I looked through here and go through this. I'm like, maybe was this always the plan? If she found it, it would have triggered the, it was kind of like a booby mm-hmm. trap, not a power think, or so, but like a trap. I think it might have been something, but then with, uh, what's the name, or whatever his name is, um, evicting or what am I saying, walking out, it messed mm-hmm. up the game. And so Vanessa there might have been something that they had in store, but since he walked, they had to kind of like change up some stuff. So maybe. Mm. But um so basically, um, they go into the fatal feast, they get all nice and dressy, and they go um and they sit at the table. So basically what happens, they say, um, Koozie, you know, so she's the HOH, she starts off the fatal feast, which we all remember from um last season, not last season, did they do that last season? Yeah, TV last season. 10. They started yeah. first time and it was the safety chain. So they basically gave another name to the safety chain, right? Um, so Koozie starts it off. Koozie saves Hope. Hope saves Anika. Anika saves Daniel. Um, Daniel saves Shania, and Shania saves Claudia. Which that was kind of dirty because they made Shania, Shania, <laughs> Shania, 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 Shania. Again, Shania. again not again. <laughs> Shania choose between <laughs> Claudia and um Renee. And she chose Claudia. And her whole thing was, well, I saved Renee last week, so I figure I should just even it out. Like, girl, please. If I'm Renee, You're lying. I'm peeping. <laughs> because I don't care if I chose you last week. If you still like the the one I'm close to, I'm saving you again. Okay. Because exactly. that's how I'm set up. Um, so it comes down to Renee, Ty, and Santina. And they basically have to do this comp where they have to like they have these candles and they have to um put them on have, the, have to balance on the them. chandelier or whatever. Yes, like some kind of like chandelier. Called? Yeah, mm-hmm. and whoever did it the fastest um was safe. Of course, Ty does it. He's safe. Um, then it goes into um Santina and Renee are the ones that are on the block. Um and Santina, she automatically knows she go home, baby. Because as soon as you know, Ty would say she, <laughs> oh, uh-huh, I felt baby, so bad. She was, I felt bad too. She was huffing and puffing, and she was, she was trying to campaign. Shout out to her Santina though, because to the very end she campaigned. And baby, when she went to the girly box and she tried to get your save us, she said, "Well, <laughs> if you don't work out, I see y'all. I see y'all in jury next week. <laughs> she, I, I'll see y'all in jury next week." Then. I said, "Yeah, girl, they're going to tell them because they will be there shortly." 
Um, so Will they though? Because you know, maybe, like they don't know where. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, they got lucky. So anyway, Shoot, they so, didn't get lucky. Let me just say, I don't know if we're moving on yet, but let me just say, I don't ahead. know why with a vote between Renee and Santina, man, Eric, they got rid of Santina. They did yeah. crazy with the unanimous vote. She ain't getting now one vote. Um, mm. so, um, is that? Is the, uh, I can't remember what happens after that. Oh, Claudia. So they do the HOH comp. I can't remember what the HOH comp was. HOH comp was, they had shots and it was essentially yes, like, they had to that's take a what shot. It is. One person had like a bad tasting shot. Yeah. Like they and did in, um, what game was that? They were just like, no, 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 no. Um, the oh, mold. no, no, not traders. The mold. Oh, the mold. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, they put, they gave everybody a shot, and whoever had the bad tasting one, you had to have the poker face, and whoever picked the correct person, then they got to eliminate somebody. Um, which Claudia goes in. Claudia had a very good strategy. So, I going in, that, that was, was so a good strategy, though. Game. It was so good. It was what really good do? strategy. I got to give it to her. So, the person that she wanted for sure out, she just kept picking. She wanted Ty to be for sure out. If you so. had the bad shot and someone gets to you, just one person, you mm-hmm. were yeah. out. Yes. Wow. So body is like, I don't care. I like who it is. Essentially, like I'm. I want Ty out, so I'm gonna vote mm-hmm. for Ty every time. Yeah. I want Hope out, so I want. Then I'm keep voting for Hope every time because eventually he's probably gonna get it. And the more <laughs> you know, the people go out, it's a higher chance yeah. you don't want they got it. So that's a very smart strategy. You won't vote against your homies. Ever like the girly pops, if they put each other's name, which you know what Claudia did one time, I think she just wanted to be right, but oh, um, definitely. It's like, man, it was so they, I don't know, it was so easy for the girly pops to just say, Hey, I'm gonna make sure I'm never voting. Um, Shania, Shania, or I'm Renee. doing the tree sing. Oh, no, man, I'm doing it. Be messing with me, Shania, <laughs> it rubbed up on you, Lord and mercy. Mm-hmm. But it was so easy for the girly pops to just say, hey, I'm voting for a crown member. Is did the they right. do that Claudia intentionally? Say, uh, Claudia did. Claudia did. She the don't one. I, I think the yeah. rest of the girly pops. They was really did. guessing. And yeah, I think the crown also knew that as well. I don't think they voted for each other. Mm, but the yeah. crown kept getting the poison shot. So yeah, they definitely did. <laughs> Not production set them up. <laughs> Renee got like one. Yeah. I don't even think end. Shania did. No, I or Shania did at did the she? very end. Yeah, so at the okay, very end, okay. there's three people. It was Daniel C., Shania, and uh, Claudia. Mm-hmm. And so they took this shot. They ain't win nothing. Mm. Shania nope. had the poison shot. But what Daniel did, Daniel sold. He picked, he thought Claudia had it. Mm-hmm. So that pretty much made the final two between Shania and Claudia. Yo, and it the didn't question, matter which one. Yeah, it didn't matter. But you know what? It might have in the grand scheme of things because... Um, during the tiebreaker, it was pretty much like Big Brother tiebreaker vote. They just had to mm-hmm. put down a number. Claudia put like five thirteen or something like that. Shania put like around six hundred. Then last second, Claudia switched to six thirteen, mm, and she, she was only like two it. away. She was only two That's away crazy. from the guest, and she got it. So wow. who knows if things would have been different if Shania had right. power? Because she might have not been as vindictive towards Ty, but. I think Ty would have still went up. Possibly. I just know that um, Shania was campaigning to Claudia like, hey, Koozie's a threat. Like, Ty, he's in no man's land. He would be grateful to us, but I'm glad Claudia, I mean, in that case, I'm glad she won anyway because it kind of helped-ish. Not really, but I guess. Mm-hmm. I just need the crown. I don't understand why they can't win nothing. Like Kuzi is holding the alliance. Well, on they've her been winning quite a bit, point. actually. They just been and on the main street. Like, what have they won? won? What, what have they H-O-H. won? H O H. Kuzi. Kuzi won a two H O H's. Hope won two vetoes. He won one. So, oh, he won one. I thought he won two. One. one. Oh damn. Yeah, yeah they Anuk, ain't Anika thing. ain't won nothing. Jonathan didn't win nothing, and Daniel didn't win nothing. Oh, Daniel, Daniel did win one veto, but he didn't use it to utilize. He didn't he use the veto to help the, his own. Right. Yeah. That don't count. Yeah. They need to win. I'm talking about these HOAs. They've that had their are chances, important. though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They've had their chances. They close. have sat on the block three times, and each time they're like, no, nah, we're not going to take her name. Like, Santina, 
when she was a victim, she's like, yeah, I want Kuzi to win. Santina's wanting Kuzi to win, all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. But Kuzi was ultimately still the person that wanted to get rid of Santina. Same with Ty. Yeah, and that's the thing with Kuzi, and we're going to get into it. Like, her blind spot has been Ty and Santina wanting to target them for whatever reason when they want to work with her. I don't understand it. We don't have feeds, so maybe she knows and sees what we don't. She does not know. (laughs) I'm I'm sorry, Kuzi, but she there's there's no reason. I know she probably thinks that girls' alliance is a thing. I think that maybe that's what's disillusioned her. Yeah, maybe there's a facade girls' alliance where the girly pops are like, "Hey, we got you, Kuzi. Like mm-hmm. we, we can all these men now. Girly pops, me, uh, Anika, and Kuzi. We're gonna run mm-hmm. it. But end of the day, you got to smother roses. You have to see the numbers and say, "Hey, so right. Tina has no one. Ty has no one, and these mm-hmm. three girls are never going against each other." That part. But Koozie has never watched this game, right? She's no, never I think she said she did. Oh, she has. Unless I'm tripping. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she's like a Superman, but I think if she's seen the episodes, but I could be tripping. I have to go back mm-hmm. and rewatch. I think because I was like, because I feel like that'll make a difference too. Like super fan would know, like <clears throat> you don't have to roll with the whole line to the end if it ain't working out for you numbers wise. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, super fans should know that you see these outsiders. That's who you probably need to collect up to yep. pull on your side, but. Oh. Whether she know or not, like <laughs> Eli said, she don't know. She de- and yeah, and, it's definitely seeming like it. Mm-hmm. But and with the safety chain, sorry, just one last thing with the safety yeah. chain. It was Koozie that directed, like, hey, we don't want Hope to have the last vote because Hope yeah. might give it to Santina or Ty. So you know what? I'm gonna pick Hope first. So Hope has to pick someone on the crown. So even if he messes up, at least you can mm-hmm. save a little face. Yeah, and so. Uh, we could have had three girly pops at the end of the safety chain, all competing against each other. But because of what ended up being Koozie and probably the crown's total decision, minus hope, mm-hmm. uh, they left Ty and Santina up there and let Santina go. Mm-hmm. And it's wild because, and I I can't give an excuse to Koozie. You know, we, we're objective over here. Um, as much as we love her, I can't give her any slack because you knew last week that Shania had your, her name in your mouth, or Cla- at least Shania, for the least, had her name in your mouth when, Cla- you know, Ty came back and told you that, oh, whatever you heard Claudia yeah. saying, even though she didn't hear it, there was Shania saying your name and when you're on the block. You should, that should have been for, okay, you, you mm-hmm. want my name? I'm going to make sure you at the end of the safety chain. So you're the one that's going home. So that should have clicked. And so I don't know why that it didn't, but we are where we are, picking up at the DeVito ceremony i guess yes How so with the nominations so basically the veto um happens they go to pick players um <laughs> koozie is upset so basically the veto players end up being ty hope shania anika and renee claudia little raggedy self end up getting house guest choice and who she picked renee and they're like koozie losing her mind because i guess they had a conversation before this that like the goal this week is to get ty out and whatever happens we need to put everybody that's that can compete in this um comp to you know go against ty that's four against one right you know what i'm saying so they pick renee renee does not have a good track record (laughs) renee has been last in like 90 percent of the comps yeah like last last everything so koozie was like what the hell (laughs) And so she was already pissed, which came down to it, of course. Um, the veto con, I don't even know if Renee even got on the screen because she sucked that much. Was she even at the her? I I think her and Shanae didn't get a single, I don't even think they got one ball. (laughs) No, so (laughs) the comp they had to do, which is very survivor ish, I said, um, they had to get a ball and they were holding two strings and they basically had to maneuver the strings good enough to get into the little slots Uh where they should. Yeah, so I think it was like seven balls, six balls. I don't know I remember it was. Nine. Something like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. So basically, Hope was very smart. I would have honestly did what Hope did. He started at the far back first and then worked his way up. Um, But the, I think in his defense, he if you notice, Hope was sweating his ass off. He was, he and I was, think, oh you would have thought he was running a 5K. He was done. He like was. It's like he had an hour, like 10 hour long workout Control yeah, don't want so much. in a whole I sauna. Think, well, because I think him starting further back, you have to use more strength. 
So oh. by the time he got four, I think he was just tired because mm-hmm. in the beginning, so Ty, of course, started front. So, okay, one, that's easy. Okay, and get to the second one. That's easier. They're always only a little bit harder. So hope started out the hardest is what mm. it seemed like to me or whatever. And it wore so, out. And essentially, yes. like, the strings, like, they were very flimsy, think, like, elastic bands. So you have to, yep. like, really pull it tight. Yeah. So... It's an act of like pulling it tight that was probably working hope like crazy. Yeah. Yep. He probably should have did that one at the end and went back to probably. the beginning. <laughs> yep. And worked his way in. Um, so basically what happened, which it was very close. Hope was very, very close. If he hadn't dropped that last ball, he would end up winning that veto. Mm-hmm. But um Ty ended up uh winning veto, of course, and he made a show. Come on. Ball come game. On. Yeah. <laughs> y'all y'all trying to put me in the gulag. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. I um, am weak. Uh, Am I the only much. one that's not mad that Ty won to be? Uh, <laughs> at this point, I hey, hey, I'm not full Ty fan, but I'm gonna for Ty a little because he's an underdog. He got that underdog. Yeah, I don't like him as a person though. Yeah, <laughs> no. yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't part. like him as a person, but in the game, yes, it's, it's it's it's. I'm not rooting for him, but I'm not rooting against him right now. And also, it's kind of weird going against Koozie. So yeah. he, right, right, maybe. I know. Um, I don't like he threw that little raggedy vote against her last week. I don't know what that was. Little raggedy. I feel like he said he was gonna do that. So I think yeah. he that's just a, try to that? get a vote from Hope. Huh? Did Koozie know that? I don't think she cared. Oh, okay. I don't know. We'll get to but, it. But as long as it didn't send her home, I care less. Right. Um, um so, Ty so so Ty won the veto, right? And so now it comes into the situation of, okay, who's going to be the replacement now? Koozie goes to talk to Claudia and she makes up a story like, if you're just going to put up, say it with your chest. Um, she basically says, well, I weighed my options and uh, I just kind of went with um, either um, you, she's talking to Koozie, either you or Daniel because you two haven't been on the block yet. Um, so I figured that's the best way to do. And Daniel saved me in the safety chain, Ooh, so that's I, have where I, come in. I have to pay him back that way. So it it's gonna be you. Koozie was like, she upset. said, no, 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 no. Koozie said, oh heck no. Pretty much, she yep. was like, Daniel, you giving Daniel C the credit? She said, I was the H O H. That was my plan that kept you here. The clue, it was clue, my clue. Plan. <laughs> I chose the order in which it went, so I should be the one who's getting the credit. So this is BS, pretty much. <laughs> I want to ask y'all, do y'all think that was credited to Daniel or Kuzi? I mean, Kuzi came up with the plan, Daniel just executed it. So technically, it was her plan, but it could not have went through without Daniel C. But... I think in the house, he, it'll probably be... The plan Daniel was to say Claudia? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know uh, that Which part. is why they gave it to Hope first, because it's like, oh, you don't oh, want Hope yeah, to stay they talk about that. Mm-hmm. Santina, so... I don't know. I think it's a crown joint decision. I don't think I, it's it, definitely made, a joint decision yeah. because uh, she needed him to execute it, but she came up with the idea. So, yeah, definitely a joint decision. Um, okay, overall, you know, I do forget that they had that um, conversation that they pretty much executed it. But I want to give Kuzi all the credit. But Daniel has free will. He could have flipped it over and said, "No, I say Daniel." So to me, honestly, mm-hmm. and Koozie is my number one girl, but I'm gonna be real. That's Daniel gets the credit for saving Claudia because Claudia's mouth his came. I mean, Claudia's name came out of his mouth. Right. So to me, it makes sense. Claudia actually had a legitimate reason to put up Koozie, honestly, yeah. in my opinion. Hey, um, I appreciate Koozie for fighting though, because most people oh, would be baby. like, "Oh, Claudia's throwing me up." She's like, "No, I'm she going to like, Claudia. Oh, I'm okay. gonna make her feel Mm-mm. bad." Okay, maybe she guilt trip. She uh, yeah, she made her feel it. <laughs> Y'all, I feel differently. I really? think Kuzi came in too hard and too strong. I mean, I feel like she was going up no matter what, but I feel like Kuzi should have taken the softer approach and be like, I get that. Because then, because you know that got back to Daniel, that Kuzi was trying to take all the credit and that right. Kuzi's, you know, upset about that. So that started making him feel some type of way. And so with her going on the block, I, that just kind of made it a little iffy when it came to Anika and Daniel. So I wish she would have just came with a softer approach and be like, you know, it's fine. Make Claudia feel like it's okay. Like, girl, I understand. We in the end game. The plan is still the same. Hope is going. I trust you. I got you if I went HOH next. You know, that reassuring aspect. Nah. <laughs> and, and that's why you're going to be on the block. Because <laughs> that now I'm, gonna get... I'm definitely gonna be on the block. Definitely gonna be on the block. Because, because I'm gonna be like, 
F your raggedy nominations. If you want to put me on the block, just say that. You little punk <laughs> because ass. here's the thing. It was like, <laughs> I would feel differently if I knew I could trust Daniel and Anika 100% that they weren't going to vote yeah, her out. Can't trust them. Or, you know, or Ty. Because Ty could, because the girls could have easily flipped on her and Ty already voted her out. She would have been gone. So I don't think it was the best decision for her to antagonize Claudia with that situation. Because you going on the block, sis. And right. In game votes are what count. We in the in game now. Yeah. yeah. So I would have did a different approach to it, but I mean, I guess it didn't make a difference ish. But yeah. so I guess it kind of depends. But go ahead. I'm just saying, like with this Thursday episode, so that was a lot of the drama. You know, Kuzi being upset about that, mm-hmm. and that kind of causing a rift that was probably yeah. already there between Daniel and Anika and herself because they're like, Kuzi just wants to run everything. She act like this is her thing. Like, you couldn't have done anything without us, which is right. true. Um, so they are allowed to play their own games, which true. I would be doing as well. So I'm not super rooting for the other two like I am for Kuzi. But I'm just I'm just not because they've been talking down on her and I don't like yep. that. But they do have to play their own games and they do have to start making their own cases for why they should be winning. And I don't think this late in the game, you should make your alliance members, I'm putting in quotes, feel less than or like you're controlling everything. Because if that's the case, we need to go ahead and get you up out of here since you're you run next. this stuff. Yeah. You're next. <laughs> <laughs> in other words. Because <laughs> low-key, I might would have got rid of her. <laughs> Listen. because You know what? Yeah. Put a stamp on your game. Put a stamp on it because here's the deal. Hope waited till final eight to start playing the game. But his pitch... Yeah was incredible. It was a good one. It was good. <laughs> yeah. He said, Kuzi got a final two with Ty. She's going to run this whole thing with Ty. She already had told me that the next order is, and she's not even going for the other girl. She's going to get you out, and then she's going to get you out. And Very then, smart. Let's, I'm like, the damn, wait. Hope, you picked the best Hope time to start playing, playing, Big Brother? Hey, damn. He but I'm going to be real. That moment right there told me that I want Hope, Hope to come back. If they did an all-star mm. season, Hope would be on my list. I mean, he's funny in general. And I, I don't know, know about all-stars, but a second chance. I would. Chance. I'll let him come to Hope all-star. Hope might be my only all-star guy from this cast. Yes, yeah, so far. Yes. Mm. Over Captain Canada. Over. Oh, yeah. And, I'm picking and, him first. And literally everyone else. I'm like, sorry. I'd like to see Ty in another season. I don't care for Ty, but Ty. Ty would be cool, but he almost quit, so I don't know if they give it to him. He was you know what? I'm be very real. I don't think Ty, Ty was ever. He was never quitting. quitting. Never. He was never quitting. Nah, he was just like, ah, oh, nigga, you was real? You serious? He was <laughs> like, like, why you th- like why I'll think- run. I'll run. <laughs> why you think he was like, let me go read this letter real quick? And yep. <laughs> he was like, hopefully. he was hoping he walked out while he was right. in the room. He like, yeah. hoping he left. <laughs> so it was like, hopefully he he gone by the when, time. Like- <laughs> when, he, when they went back in that uh, room, Ty was like, this. Mm. Yeah, read that letter. He's like, I <laughs> and this when That's when him and Zach went in there, and when Zach went to quit, Ty was next to him. Like, I don't know about that. He was bro. all types of shifty. I said, Nah, he ain't going. He not going nowhere. But I was like, if, if you need me, I want to. I don't care for Ty though. But hope, I guess you would say, I would bring him back for sure. If they did they a, oh, they should do a heroes versus villain season. Superhero hope would be on the hero side. Ty would be the villain for sure. Yeah. Ooh, love they that. need to do that. I would love to see that. That's one thing I will say. I think we've talked about this before. That's where Survivor has the leg up when it comes to these seasons because mm-hmm. all these different the brain versus brawn uh, versus beauty, heroes versus villains, game changers, mm-hmm. all these different yeah. themes that could be employed with Big Brother that will be so juicy, that will bring so much. You know, exactly. Um, but I think BB King would do a better job at pulling it off than US. Definitely. So. <laughs> Definitely, but it's gonna have to be BBUS because I need feeds. Yeah, that part. Yeah, that's where they lost me. BB can would definitely execute it better. Um, BBUS is gonna meddle, but I gotta have feeds because this season is killing me without feeds. No, I feel that one thousand percent. And so, like I said, so cool. Uh, Hope is campaigning, phenomenal campaign. He would have got mm-hmm. me all he had to tell me that because he laid that plan out so detailed as if Koozie told him herself. And yep. so I was like, you know what? Maybe she do need to go. But then Koozie was talking to Tosh like, so Ty, <laughs> um, you gonna keep me or? <laughs> well, she was like, we can do this thing. He's like, let's do it, Koozie. Me and you, let's be like back mm-hmm. to back. Let's just let's just run it back, you know. And so I was, you know, I got got a little excited for them and they final two potential. Um, 
Mm-hmm. So I would like, I was like, I would like to see it. I would like to see them go back to back, just HOH and veto it out to the end because I know Ty yep, can't Because Ty going to lose. So come on. <laughs> I wouldn't even mind it. That's an that's a easy, easy dub for Koozie. Exactly. I mean, Koozie beat everybody in the house at this point. But and I would absolutely. love. Yeah. Especially with yeah. the jury segment. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. And speaking of this jury segment, before we get back to this vote, here go Dan in this darn thing. He talking all this. I said he doing more work than he did okay. in the jury house. Come on, one man. Because why? This is the most personality I've seen from Dan. I said, now why he wasn't on the show? Because he likable in this jury little segment. And it's mm-hmm. like, I like you a little bit. But yeah. where was you in the house? Sleep. Shoot. Sleep. Lost. <laughs> blinded he was being a puppet he was oh, being puppeted behind feeds. he hid behind feeds I bet right all that personality Be- from Dan I bet we just didn't get to see it <laughs> I'm like he doing more work in this jury mm-hmm. than he ever did in his little house mm-hmm. in the five, four weeks that he was in the house and showing the um, importance of feeds right there that Dan could have been a fan favorite he could have been one of our fans but now we'll never know mm-hmm. we'll never know Nope. And so he doing all this work in, in the jury and the jury house. Then Jonathan mm-hmm. comes in. He's like, oh no, what happened? Jonathan gives the recount. Then boom, Santina comes in. They're like, wait, what? You're the last person we, you know, we did not expect to see you. And so she gives him a rundown. Koozie went to age. Then the fatal feast happens. And so he, that's why they never mind. He can't come back because he's talking about I still don't know who the, the invisible HOH was. <laughs> they knew. They knew. And since he was like, I'm sorry, but I was the invisible H way. He knew. <laughs> you had to know. Mm-hmm. What, was it also Dan? Him, what was it huh? also Dan that uh was like, oh, what's the safety chain? Right. Yeah, get, get out. <sighs> get and leave. Because that means you don't watch And last that one season. from seasons ago. That was last season. <laughs> last season. Last season. Really? So they got us a little jury segment, whatever. Um going back to the vote. You know, they got kind of went back to it real quickly because they were giving us another HOH competition. Finally, I don't know why they wait till eight, seven people left to give us another HOH comp. Mm-hmm. But you have Hope and um, Koozie that were on the block. Mm-hmm. Um, I forgot to mention at the beginning when it was the veto ceremony, they was matching and they, and they had their little the African garb on, like the the Kente cloth stuff. I really like that. that oh, and that shout out there. to Koozie. Koozie gave an amazing speech and shouted out Hope. Oh, I oh. wanted to cheer up a little bit. It was the cutest thing. It was. Okay, so get into that part. I was, because everybody was on Twitter, they were scared, like, oh my God, it's not looking good for us. I am like, don't let this edit fool y'all. I've watched this show too long to know that they're going to try to make you think that the vote has changed. And I was like, I don't think it's changed. <laughs> but, and I was confident up until Koozie gave that speech, because I'm like, oh, you thought she was leaving because oh, of the speech? The speech so scared me. The speech oh, scared me. No, because huh. she's like, just vote for however you, you know, what's best for your game. But I need to take this time to, you know. Oh, I get it. People do, do that. Like, whatever. I already know I'm going home. So let me say something nice. Yes. Okay. I and get so it. That scared me. I said, hold on now. Oh, I thought the opposite. I'm sorry. I thought she was about to get crazy blindsided. I, I'm like, all right. I know Kuzi's safe. But it would be so comical. She's like, I know I'm safe. I'm going to do my whole speech for hope. Mm-hmm, and then she got booted out. Well, it wouldn't be funny because I don't want to see Koozie go. But mm, that would have been a sight to see because you have all these people in the woodwork. They wanted her to get humbled, <laughs> humbled, right. whatever, so bad. They wanted to get evicted. They feel like she's doing too you much. Thought, you thought because thought at wrong. the end of the day, when the push came to shove, mm-hmm. the votes were three to one, mm-hmm. and Hope was evicted. And mm-hmm. so he became the fourth <clears throat> member of our jury. But before he left, oh. he got them doing a little line dance that they practiced. Yeah, they little corny. <laughs> Eli, dance. what's up? It was cute though. It was corny as hell, but it was cute. It was. Oh, hope. It was giving cookout. Not it was. the cookout, oh, yeah, but like was, at a was cookout. Cute. Yeah, it, it was family. Very family friendly. Very cute. I, I hear a butt like coming. <laughs> but corny as hell. I still didn't like it. Oh, man, I'm sorry. But you know maybe, what? Maybe, maybe I'm the Grinch. Maybe I'm the Grinch. But I'm like, <laughs> man, the Grinch. give your hugs and leave. We don't want to see high school musical choreographed oh. dancing. I'm like, nah. That's Disney the show. is telling you he don't like your choreography. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, choreo was decent. Choreo was decent. But you just got voted out. But I mean, that, I guess, epitomizes... Is that the right word? Hope, yeah. where it's just like he's just joyous guy, and he, he did is. fight in the game, and yeah, 
end of the day, he said it a bunch of times where he's like, hey, I'm happy to be here. This is a once in a lifetime thing. And for him to go out like that, I respect it and I love it for him. I, I too, love. You know? Go ahead. No, no, you're fine. I love when Hope speaks because yeah, he, I'll, Tracy, one man. How you know, one, one man. <laughs> <laughs> because whenever he's he's like, I am so happy to be here, and it's just like his face. You so- can't. He brings joy. He really does. I'd be like, man, Hope, you piss me off today, and then he says something. I'd be like, yeah, it's, I love so, it's so calming. Yes. It's so meted out like he just if you could put joy in a tone that's him (laughs) yeah yeah it just makes it easy to talk to um but yeah i i hope surprised me because i i can yeah i can admit that when we had our cast assessment i had no faith in hope i had no hope in hope none i said (laughs) i we could go back i said now what do hope even know what game you playing (laughs) and do we know you playing a game for the first three weeks, I was like, this is what I'm talking about. This man yeah, he's he ready to go home. But then when he surprised us that that was his strategy, I was like, I sat up a little okay, bit. Okay. I was like, okay, I'm listening. I'm telling I'm listening. Me. And then him and Kuzi did that plan where they, you know, he went on the block. That was the whole plan for him to win veto so she could throw Zach up. Mm-hmm. And then I just, I was just a fan. Became a yep. really great fan. And then him this week, how he just played extra hard to try to stay. And he didn't quit. If there's one thing I hate yeah. about players, it's when they just lay down and die. And Exactly. Not to say I expected Hope to lay down and die, but I'm like, oh, it's him versus Kuzi. He's not even going to give up a, a fight. But he was, he had a great pitch. He, he and- came for her throat. He <laughs> and he and, with all and the hold on. This is a, a good example of, of. I love the fact that um he played the game, regardless if that's your ally on the block, regardless if that's my final two. At the end of the day, one of us is going home. And, and if our brother is you, it's me. going to be you. <laughs> so I love he respectfully came for Koozie's throw. He did. Even though there's he no lied. way to play the game without like downgrading somebody or talking down to them or saying this and this and that or going personal. He kept it all in the yeah. game and was very he, great, great pitch. Great but I will say the only part about his pitch, that I would I would have been looking at him sideways. He talking about I'm a combies. I'm you need me on your side. No I, I said hope you won a one veto, friend. He did. He did win. He real. was second on a lot, but that second let's, is not first. Let's be for not. real. You won one veto. He did win He's one. Like, we, me, and Ty on your side. Us four together, we can do. I said now, Ty. He's a combies. Yeah. He's won stuff multiple times. Ty has won three, three comps, three comps now, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he's um, the most winning is person this season. Right. And so I was like, okay, he got the stats to back it up. Hope, I know, second, like you said, second place almost don't count. I'm sorry. <laughs> it don't. It don't count. Every brother house. Yeah. Second place is the first loser. Congratulations. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm the, one of the most competitive people you will meet for second place <laughs> is the first loser. Right. Mm-hmm. And so, but other than that, like, <laughs> like I said, he did, like he did not give up. And I appreciate that. And he did it with all the love and all, it was all game. So yeah. shout out to Hope Aguloso. I hope I'm saying that hey, right. Shout out to Hope. We'd like to see you again. <clears throat> I want him to do the opening for our podcast because his voice is just so welcoming. <laughs> oh him. my God. Wow. Welcome to A Who I Gonna Be There. <laughs> I, I would love one. him to say I, that. Honestly, though. I, I, oh, I'm serious. <laughs> let, me, <laughs> let me tag him in this. No, for real. We because... need to find his Twitter. Yes. I'm I'm for that. So mm-hmm. Hope leaves. And we get to the HOH competition, and it is a before after comp. And here go this darn. And I said it before. I said if the crown don't win, they need to just pack it up <laughs> because at this point, y'all need to win something. It can't be all on Koozie. And once again, it was all up to Koozie, and unfortunately, she could not pull it out. She missed one question that would have. Hey, I think Koozie was high. guessing half them. I think she was guessing. <laughs> oh, half she them did time. guess. She definitely yeah. guessed. Um, those were some hard questions, actually. They were. And that's why Renee is one to watch. And I think Ty was on the money. Even Zach was on the money with wanting to get rid of Renee because she didn't falter one time in that whole no. She missed one question, but they memory. all missed that one question that they all missed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But she was solid that entire time. She kept her little hands clasped together backwards like this. Mm-hmm. And she sat there and moved her little feet Three. <laughs> up and down. Mm-hmm. And she won. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Renee became the HOH. And congrats to her. Because mm-hmm. everybody thought she couldn't win nothing. And she ate them up. 
in this competition. I do yeah. wish. Right. I, I think it'd be funny if it was in the U.S. Uh, like how it's you have some of the live live HOHs. Cause mm-hmm. she came out cussing. She's like, "Yeah, oh my I, gosh, they had to bleep so much. This. She yeah, was they too were excited, like crazy." <laughs> I mean, if I lost every comp and was at the end, I'd be turning up too. I'd be like, "Yeah, hey, I'd be right. talking miss all week." Hoh robe on all week. <laughs> I'd be Bailey. Right. <laughs> Bailey no. be doing this shit. She Acting had the, some of the worst Hoh items I've ever seen. That would have been me. <laughs> Showed <laughs> her behind. But you know what? To be final seven, win HOH at final seven was pivotal. Because now you win when you need to. You're, you know, you got six options. Two of these girls supposed to be your alliance, but you know you're at the bottom. You got two other people who have three other people that got alliance, but you know one of them is at the bottom of theirs, but they could easily join over here. But then we have the main target over here in Thai. So it's like, what to do? So she got a really amazing HOH because she got all the options. She can do what she want to do. Obviously, um, Teresa will get into what her plans are. Teresa muted. Um, but I I don't know. This week, as long as Ty doesn't win the veto, <laughs> Kuzi should be good. <laughs> should be good. I hope they Kuzi get gets picked for veto and saves Ty low-key. But that's another story. Because, and I'll just, like I guess I'll let Teresa go this, but I'll say, Kuzi's best final three choice is Ty and Renee, to be honest. They're the ones that are going to take us to final three. I just don't see the other ones doing it. So in the best in the best case scenario, right. that would be a final three. But back to you, Trees. Back to me. So uh, basically, I'm just going to give you all a little update. So now that we are on um, points for this week, um, we did get a little bit of a daily. Of course, they didn't give us any tea because why would they? They hate us. Um, so on, uh, <laughs> on our daily, not so daily, um, Anika, Claudia and Daniel and Shania were downstairs talking and basically this turned into a, you know, like koozie fest. Okay. Um, they really didn't, you know, do too much, but, uh, Anika was all like, I like, damn, Anika done did a turn on us. Anika, damn girl. She had she our back. Like, she had our sis back at the beginning. She did. So I'm hoping she's maybe just doing like the stay in the mix, but I don't know. Um, but she was talking about like, oh, did y'all see her? Um, did y'all see her go um upstairs to talk to Renee? Um, you know, basically saying, like, she ain't your age. Why wouldn't she go up there? To yeah, talk? Exactly. We final seven. I'm not trying to go home, sis. Your ass need to be up there talking with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So they was upset and they're talking about like um basically Daniel and uh Anika are basically talking to the girly pops or what's left of the girly pops and saying that they think Koozie is it's time for her to go. Um so then it pans uh, upstairs to Renee and Koozie conversation. And Renee, I don't know if she's telling the truth, but shout out to Koozie Social Game because um last week when the um the whole door gate happened. Koozie and Renee were talking in the bathroom and Koozie basically was trying to calm Renee down. Like, I get it. Like, that's some BS. And if I was you, no, da, 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 da. Just know that I'm HOH this week, though. So you are not going to see the blog, da, 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 You know, she was reaffirming to her. That was before they, you know, what the Fatal Feast was. But she just like, just know you're not going on that block and I got your back. Mm-hmm. And so... Renee told her she remembered that conversation. She said, you know, you told me that you had my back. Um, I do not want to see you go on that block. I want you in this game right now. Um, so as of right now, unless something has changed, Koozie's not going on that block. Now, when replacement veto happens, ah, it might be a little possibility. Um, and that's because Raggedy Shania was bringing up Koozie's name. So I got some <laughs> for her. Um, when know. she get out the house, right. um, but she was just like, "Well, you know, if it was me, I'd put Koozie on the block." Well, it's not you because you didn't well, win. Not you. You I know you. This is a you second lost. week in a row you're saying this. And you guess lost. what? You did both weeks. Lost. Exactly. Get it, Eli. Get it. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, basically, when uh, Koozie and Renee are talking, which she's very smart. I love Koozie. I don't know if she does these things intentionally, but I've learned so far she does everything with intention. And she was saying, hey, before Hope left, did he leave you with anything? Did he tell you any tea? And she was like, yes. Renee says, he did tell me a little something. She didn't say what it was, but he's like, he told me a few things. He's like, he didn't give me nothing like 
for sure he didn't point out and say everything you know anything specific but he kind of gave me some clues to lead me to where i need to be he said the only thing hope told me hope i thought he would tell me you know something maybe other people he's working with or anything but he basically told me that i can't tell you what to do in this game but i really really need you to look out for renee i don't even think he said this (laughs) <laughs> but he said, I really need you to look out for Renee. Renee is a very trustworthy person. He says, um, I know eventually it's, you know, it's just y'all, you in the game, you're playing for yourself. But if you can, just even if you just happen to win HOH, we just give her a week. Um, just look out for her. I need you to have her back because me and Renee are close. And she, Renee was like, Kitty for real. <laughs> like she ate that up. And I don't I that's gonna be one of my number questions. Like, oh, did you really <laughs> say that? She's gonna be like, I didn't say that shit. <laughs> you know, and honestly, so, I'm fouling it in the back of my mind because that's actually yes, brilliant. Please do. Please that's do. That's brilliant. Yes. Like they actually told me to work to trust you and work with you. And I'm like, you know, listen, what? I can't get with and it. I even think if it, it made worked. True. Look, and I think it worked because when they were in the um, Flamingo room, uh, Claudia, the GPs were having a conversation. And when Shania was bringing up Koozie, if we know Renee, Renee going to say what she got on her chest. That's one thing I do like about Renee. Out of the girly pops, Renee is the one I'm going to ride for. Right. If he come down to it, I ain't ride for her now. But if I had to ride for one of them, it's going to be Renee. Because Renee was sitting there kind of like, mm, you know what I'm saying? Koozie name a little bit. Too much, right? So it's looking like she she looking out for our good sis right now. Hopefully. Now Love I you. think when it gets down to it, um, I do think there's a possibility for her to go up, but I think that's like a 50 50 thing between her and the, well, the thing was she was trying to decide. So Ty's for sure going up. We know for sure he's going up. Um, so it's really between Daniel and Anika, who's gonna be the initial nom. So hopefully, I guess it's Koozie wins H O H. Because I don't want there to be no reason for her to go up. Um, so it really just kind of depends on what happens with the veto. So the veto is key this key. week. Yep. So And hopefully Koozie get to play. She ain't played in a veto all Everybody, season. Well, oh, no. seven of them left. So two people going to be sitting up. Oh, no, one. Or oh, one. one. One, one person. Yeah, the one. HOH. HOH sits out. HOH. So everybody else. So she, she, this will be her first veto. Oh, so no, she will get no, to play, or right? Or no, only five people play. Five people Oh, play. yeah, it's only five people so play. HOH sits s- out plus seven? one other person. Yes. Are we in final six or seven? We're in seven. seven. Okay, so yeah, HOH sits out in one person. So yeah, she could possibly still be the one to sit out. <laughs> if we, hopefully not. And that would suck because she's the best case scenario too. Um, yes. Because I could see Daniel being messy, pulling Nika off. Just oh, because you know what? I want to have a conversation about Daniel real quick. Okay. <laughs> Daniel pisses me off. Okay. He does. He does. I guess he's playing the game, but listen, when we get listen, we're gonna get there. Okay. He's pissing me off, okay? He really is. Like, and it's only because he been doing a little shadiness toward my sis Koozie. And we know when it comes down to it, he's gonna shoot for Koozie first. But I gotta give Daniel props. Daniel is playing that middle, he's playing it. Mm-hmm. I get props mm-hmm. where props is due, okay? Right. And coming in, Daniel was... Listen, mm-hmm. Koozie was my first one to pick. Daniel was my number two. Mm-hmm. And Daniel is playing the game, okay? He being a little... Whatever, a little, little rat, kind of, but he's he's doing it well. <laughs> because and he got the GPs to trust him. He got the crown trusting him. He's got mm-hmm. Ty to trust him. Daniel is literally covered on all sides of the house. Every side. Yeah. The crown, yeah, yeah. the GPs, and Ty by himself. Yeah. yeah and that's crazy. why I feel like he's been throwing these competitions because he's not dumb. Maybe. <laughs> because he hit, I'm going back to the one, Koozie won, her HOA, so she won this mm-hmm. last one. He hit that buzzer so fast, like he knew, you knew that was the wrong answer. You couldn't, yeah. Arissa <laughs> literally <laughs> just, she just finished the question yeah. and you hit the yep. So mm-hmm. I'm thinking he's throwing these competitions because yep. you're not dumb. Yep. You're not. I'm talking mess now, but if Koozie happens to go home, I don't want to go home. I'm be rude for Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> he he really he's he's playing the game. Playing so I'm giving I'm giving him props. Yeah. He was very I even like how he's been, mm-hmm. Go ahead, Eli. Uh I even like how he's been like pushing the koozie. Like I know one conversation he had with her this past week was like, Man, I didn't expect my game to look like this. And I took that as like hard size where it's crown versus girly pops. Right. But mm-hmm. despite that, he still found himself in the middle, despite there being two clear sides and him mm-hmm. clearly being on the crown side, he's still in the middle. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, yes, obviously if Koozie left, 
honestly, like if she happened to leave before Ty, I don't know why I'm kind of rooting for Ty. I don't know if he can win because I feel like what I don't want. I want to know what Koozie would do if she left before Ty did. Um, I think Ty leaving this week, which is why I counted him out. (laughs) Honestly, think (laughs) I think time's up. Honestly, if he don't want that veto, for sure he's going. But um, because I'm thinking if she went to the jury house and Ty makes it to final two, depending on who he's, if he's not sitting next to a crown member, I feel like he may win because I feel like Koozie could shift the jury in his favor. I really do. I, Ty, I let me see. Who would Ty lose to? Ty, Ty. Okay, Ty will beat all of the girly pops because <laughs> the crown is heavy over there, yeah. and Koozie's gonna have the influence on the crown. Mm. Um, since yeah, Santino vote for yeah, Santino vote for Ty. I think over the girly pops. Yeah, he um, can beat a girly pop, even though he really should be able person, to beat Anika, but because of the crown, probably like, Anika ain't did nothing. Yeah, it should be Anika. Yeah. Yeah, I think what Dan would vote for to. Ty every time, except he was if he was next to Shania. I think Dan votes for Shania over Ty. Everyone else, Ty. if Ty's next to anyone else, Dan <laughs> votes for Ty. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess we'll see. It's interesting. Yeah, um, when we when like we get our final four, we'll do our we'll do our um, guesses on how it goes. Lord, which, please don't let it be. We're just coming down, y'all. Three girly pops and it's Dan. Crazy. Oh my god, it's how crazy. Many weeks no. left? Three weeks. Three. We only got three, three episodes. BB can't live. Yeah, season's exactly. flown. It's because we didn't lost like, three weeks. Listen, <laughs> yeah, we have lost quite a bit. I'm so, so ready for BBUS, man. Yes. <laughs> Please give us a date. Shoot, know. you know what I heard? They haven't even secured the cast yet. They're still um, picking people. I heard. I know they are. Even though they got it, the videos mm-hmm. or the cast they should have picked has already been sent in. But right, I'm just saying. Hmm. But, I still got time, but um, see, y'all. what I'm looking forward to this week is seeing what the hell these Wendy's points are. Y'all brought up these Wendy's points. Koozie Please. got a million Wendy's points, so whatever <laughs> it is, I'm gonna need our good sis to cash those Wendy's points in. I want her to cash them in today. today. They need the twist, whatever it needs to be now, today. Because mm-hmm. don't wait till after the double for it to make sense. Because that's stupid. No. And final five. Imagine it's. Are uh... they gonna do a double? The double is fr- It's Thursday. Did they say it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know if she announced it or whatever. Okay. Imagine they Ooh. give a coup d'etat to Kuzi. Oh, that, would too. No. that would be amazing because you know they what? They never used that thing. <laughs> Look, Shanae and Claudia <laughs> have a seat. <laughs> Listen. GP one and two get to the seat. You already know. I would have said, you already know. I ain't even got to say your name. I know. I'm not saying your name. Get yet. up there. If, if I'm that putting part. you up, walk to the block. <laughs> that Listen, easy. But also, too, I was just thinking too. Honestly, I need, I really want Kuzi, Renee, and Ty to make a final three because that would low key. Because at this point, I would be like, Renee, yes, you at the bottom of your lines. This over here, I've been working with these two, but clearly, I'm at the bottom of theirs. Ty is by himself. We are. This is the perfect chance for us to take out these other sides, like. Ties winning comps. Can't nobody beat them. I'm mm-hmm. pretty good at comps. You won something, girl. So we got faith in you that you can win something again. <laughs> we could take this game to the end. So first, I think we need to just, you know, whoever we put up, we just decide who we want out. Right. And move on. I mean, since she HOH, I know you don't want to get rid of girly pop. Let's take out Daniel. Next right. week, we hopefully one of us win. We take out one of the, the girly pop, whatever. Mm-hmm. That's what needs to happen. This is in the end game. It's time to start shaking up some stuff. We in the end game now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it in old girl voice every single time yep, you say that. Yep, 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 yep. But I'm looking forward to this week. Um, so oof, the double. It's gonna be a, a a good episode. Um, and Koozie is number one target that's gonna be in trouble for the double. If okay. Ty makes it this week, Koozie is um number one on the hit list. And I say that as in Daniel and Anika too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, mm, man, what? I hope Kuzi win that double H-O-H. H-O-H. Is speak that. it mm-hmm. is, and you know Kuzi's what? As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, Vito too. Oh wait, she can't play Vito. <laughs> That's right. So well, we don't Kuzi know yet. No, the H O H. Oh, play. you mean this week? You mean this before this the double? Week, she gonna win this veto. Okay, she gonna so she gonna tie. win this veto. She gonna save Ty. 
Yes. And then let's see. Who she gonna put up, you know, Renee. She gonna put up Daniel. Yeah. Huh? So Daniel, yeah, by Daniel. Yeah, so Daniel or Anika gotta go. They gotta vote out Daniel because Anika ain't winning. At least we can be her in some stuff. <laughs> but watch her end up being watch her end up being due. But the good she thing though double. is that she's took away from Daniel. I think Anika will go back to to um she will. be loyal. Definitely. Because she, she only really talks mess with Daniel. So exactly. without <laughs> Daniel. Daniel and there's Come a on, realistic chance yeah, we have an all missing. girl final five. Oh, all woman final great. five. I don't want the girly pop to be included in that, yeah. but that would eat. We, yeah. we, I don't think we've ever had that ever. That's Only another. It was Santina. Only woman mm-hmm. evicted. That's my uh, other. It final is three. right. That's right. That's right. I will say, I don't know. I say a tie, Renee and Koozie, but if we somehow got Daniel out this week and the girls won and they got our tie in the double. <laughs> I wouldn't mind the Koozie and Nika and Renee to final three and take out Claudia and Shania. And yes. then obviously Koozie win the rest of it. But yes. That would be, that would be, that would be ideal. Yes. Daniel goes this week. Tie um, in the double. Tie in the double. And then Anika wins the HOH after the double. Oh, it's puts over. Up, it's over. Puts Let's up go. Renee and um Claudia puts up no puts up Claudia Shania. and Shania and then hmm because Renee no. ain't winning a veto I want Cla- Claudia but, I want Claudia but then go. that means Anika Renee or Koozie needs to win the veto because final they're gonna yes. be what final yeah because we don't want them to have no uh nope power oh it's only final five never mind because I was thinking final Everybody four I was like oh yeah yeah okay <laughs> we gonna see y'all well, um, we'll be back next week to give y'all updates. Um, like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that. All um, if you have comments, questions, um, we're gonna do a live episode here in a little bit, so y'all can uh, get y'all comments in um, as we record. Get some questions off your chest, um, guys. You got anything? Any last parting words? That's it. We just need our sis to be safe, yeah. man. Come on, Team Koozie. All right, y'all. Ooh. Y'all have a good night. We about to go to bed. Definitely <laughs> to go to bed. <laughs> good night. Good night.